Okay, so let's run through the male reproductive anatomy. I have two models here, which is, a, this is kind of like a 3D model. This is more of a cross section here, but we can see different things on both. So let's just run through these. First, we have the scrotum, which holds the testes. So this would be scrotum here. We have the penis, the corona, which is right there, the prepus, which is the foreskin, the glans penis here, and the um, corpus cavernosum, corpus spongiosum, This would be the urethra here, the urethral sinus, and urethral orifice. Here we have the testy, which the layer that covers the testy is the tunica albuginea, but this would be a testy, and here's your epididymis. the spermatic cord, um, the dartos muscle, which is this layer of pink right here, the dartos, and then we have the cremaster muscle. The cremaster is deeper than the dartos. These two muscles control are use are used to aid in temperature control for sperm production in the testes. Okay, let me make sure I didn't forget anything. We have the testicular artery and testicular vein. Artery, vein. The seminiferous tubule, which you can't see here, but if you were to do a cross section of the testy, the seminiferous tubules are inside and that's where the uh, spermatozoa is produced. So we have the suspensory ligament and I'm gonna take this Well, you can kind of see it better here. Okay, wait. Suspensory ligament. Bundiform ligament here. If we're looking on this model, fundiform ligament, suspensory ligament. The fundiform ligament is the one that gets clipped when males want to have penal enlargements. So, if you can remember that your fundiform ligament is closer to the penis than the suspensory ligament. Suspensory ligament suspends the spermatic cord. Okay. Let me see. Covered all of that. We have the inguinal canal here, right here and here, inguinal canal. We have the vas deferens that runs here. And I'm gonna take this off so you can see the ampulla of the vas deferens, which goes into, or pours into the ejaculatory duct which is located going through the prostate gland. If we look on this model, it's a little bit easier to see. So we have, let's see if I can prop this up somehow. The ejaculatory duct right there, the um, prostate gland. Here is our external 
urethra sphincter muscles right there, your internal urethra sphincters right here, your prosthetic, prostatic urethra, the membranous urethra, and then the spongy urethra right there. Looking at it this way, you can see the um, fundiform ligament a little bit better here. This right here is the Cowper's gland or the bulbo, how do I say this? Let me look at the word, bulbo urethra. Okay, bulbo urethra gland right here. The seminal vesicles are right on back of the urinary bladder. So right here, seminal vesicle. And the, here, let me point this out a little bit better. So seminal vesicle, ampulla of the vas deferens, vas deferens. The vas deferens goes into the ampulla. The seminal vesicle is here. Also pour into the urethra, okay? So, and this is the ejaculatory duct. We have our penile shaft and penile root here. And that about covers it for our male reproductive anatomy.